Now that spring has officially arrived, temperatures are rising, but so are some fears. Especially for those who live in Hamilton County, an area of South Dakota surrounded by several lakes and rivers. Many roads are already underwater due to the heavy rain and snow melt. But emergency management officials worry that it could get worse. With two lakes nearby, Mother Nature is ruffling a few feathers with Dean Johnson's farm. Right now, it's in a sea of trouble. So this is not going to be gone this year. My experience tells me that we're going to have this again next year. And so we're in it for a long run. His house is okay for now, but some of his outbuildings are underwater. It's not as bad as in 2011. 2011, I had uh, 22 inches of water in that shed. Right now, we're about 10, 12 inches. Dozens of county and township roads are either underwater or heavily damaged by people driving on them. We're encouraging the traveling public to use extreme caution, especially after, you know, daylight hours, you know, in the dark. It's, you know, it's very hard to see those things. Hamlin County Emergency Manager David Schaefer says if they get any more rain, roads leading to the Hamlin County School could be impacted and so could students and staff. They may be forced to take longer routes to get to class. Uh, their four mile trip may be 12 miles long, but for the sake of safety, uh, it's, it's well worth it. Roads aren't the only concern. The lakes are filled with all kinds of debris, fence posts, decking and tree branches, so boaters need to be careful and not make waves. If you do go out on the lake, go, go very, very slow. Don't, don't cause a wake. You know, it just, uh, it's just one more thing that those folks don't need. They also don't need any more rain. I'm optimistic on that. My wife isn't, but I am. Now, farmers in that area are also dealing with lots of water, and it's affecting their livestock. We're going to show you how tonight on Kelloland News at 6.